Hey Finksters and welcome to today's video. Today it's uh, again from a beautiful spot in my hometown uh, in Germany and uh, in, in, when I'm doing these walks then I usually come up with some ideas so some ideas pop into my head and I think okay now I will uh, make record this video for you because this may be a helpful guide for you. So in today's video I want to discuss um, is Python good for freelancing? So is the Python programming language good for freelance developing these days, so in 2020. And um, I mean, as you may know, as a, uh, as a Thinkster student, I'm a Python educator, so I have a Python blog and uh, I teach Python. And uh, of course, I'm a bit biased uh, answering this question, but in my opinion, Python is the best programming language for freelancing uh, in 2020 and in the upcoming years for sure. Why? Because Python is the fastest growing major programming language. Okay, so there are two parts of this. It's it's fastest growing, and usually if there's a fast growing space, then it's a huge oppo opportunity for you to gain some ground and to participate at least partly in the growth opportunities that come from uh, uh, from being in a fast growing. Um, ecosystem okay so if, if there's fast growth then usually there's market market space to be earned by newcom newcomers this is like the definition of fast growth so therefore it's fast growing there's a lot of opportunity uh, in, in uh, these days and it's the major programming language so it's not a niche programming language that can be killed instantly by some uh, some wrong choices along the way. So Python is one of the main top five programming languages in the world. So everybody, all coders know Python. If you focus on Python freelancing, you will learn the Python skill and the Python skill has a huge marketplace also as an employee. So you can always switch back and forth between being an employee or being a freelancer or being both. So like from, a, from, a, from this meta perspective, Python is an excellent strategic choice for you to, to choose as a freelance developing language. But it's also um, a huge opportunity because, because with Python you can solve any problem. So you can solve problems in data science by using like um, NumPy library, a Pandas library. You can, you can do some web scraping project, which is a very popular freelancing gig type web scrapping. So find extracting data from websites. Uh, you have libraries such as ScrapPy and um, Beautiful Soup that help you extract this knowledge from the data set. Python is the best programming language for machine learning so you have uh, libraries such as tensorflow and skykit learn which are like excellent world class libraries for machine learning and machine learning is is one of the top uh, fast growing fields these days uh, you have libraries for um, for data visualization like matplotlib cburn and so on so um, like the whole space is covered. Even for web development, you have Django and Flask, you have backend like MySQL connectors, you have uh, front end uh, stuff with Python, like also with Django, you have a lot of front end functionality. So you can do everything with Python. Python is, is like it's, it's a full stack language, not like not focused, not, it's not only a scripting language, but it's a full stack language that is also uh, efficient and I think it's one of the best programming languages to learn in 2020 to become a freelance developer. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. If you want to become a freelance developer yourself, check out my uh, new book, Leaving the Red Race with Python. Check out my freelance course as well. It's a full program. Both of those resources will make you a better freelancer, more successful freelancers, and they are designed to pay for themselves. So check them out. See you in the next video. Bye.